Hello, this is Dina from the Marx Group, and today we're going to just cover one quick topic in, on bad organization emails in this video. Before we do that, just wanted to remind you that if you need any CRM support, feel free to contact us at info at marxgroup.net or please go visit our website at uh, marxgroup.net and you can find a lot of resources there related to various CRMs. We have different blogs, we have different white papers, and you can also request some information directly from us. With that said, I'm going to now go to the settings here. Go to under channels, I'm going to go to emails, and we're going to go over to organization emails. And what I'm gonna do is show you how to create one of these and then two different ways that you can use it. Um, so just to make it clear what an organizational email is, it's an email address that you can use to send and receive customer emails. And what that basically means is that you're defining whether this email address should be in the from or reply to um, section of an email. And that way you can have some flexibility in the emails that you are sending out from Zoho and how they get received back as well. So the first thing we need to do is add an email address. I'll call this test organization email. I'm going to put my Marks Group email address. And then I'm going to need to define who I want to be able to use this. So I'm going to have it just be the administrator because I don't necessarily want everybody using my email address. So I'm going to go create. And then as you can see, I was sent an email to confirm and I have to click on confirm here. Also I have to go to my email and I can copy the um, confirmation code, go back here, put it in, confirm it. Oops, it was an invalid code. Let me do that again. And now you can see that the email has been verified. So as you can see, it's pretty quick and easy to actually set up that organization email. Now the question is, how do you use it? Well, you can go to either a lead or a contact, and I can show you two different ways that you can use it. First, the quickest way is that if you're working with a contact, you want to send them an email. Um, in this case, I'm signed in to our system as support at marksgrouplive.com, but I want this to come from me at my marksgroup.net email. So I'm going to choose this as the organizational email. And then I can send an email. Test one. And then I'm going to send this email. So now if I go to the email section of the content, I can see here's test one is the email I just sent. And you can see that it's showing is coming from my email address at marksgroup.net versus a support at marksgrouplive uh, email that is the user I'm signed in as. So that's one way to use an organization email. The other way is when you send mass emails, um, it becomes even more important that you may want to have a more consistent messaging that is coming out um, from that email. So if I was to choose several emails, several contacts, and go to send them an email, then it's going to give me the um, ability to send a mass email. And I'm going to select a template. In this case, I'm just going to do the happy birthday one. And then here in the from, I can keep that support at marksgrouplive.com, which is the, the user I am. Or I can do the test organizational email, which is the name that I had given the organization mail that I had uh, put in here. Of course, you can always just have it be from the record owner. And if you own all the contacts, you uh, not own them, but if you have access to all the contacts, the email will just go out from the record owner's email. In addition, from the add reply to, you can um, change who the emails are going to come back to. And in this case, again, I can have them come back to my Marks Group email, even though I'm using this marksgrouplive.com email as well. 
and then I can hit send and that will happen. I'm not going to send it since some of these are real emails in here, but that is um, the diff one the other way that you can use the organization email. So again, this was just a quick video to show you a little bit more about organization emails and how you can use them. You can feel free to visit marksgroup.net to get more information about different ways that you can use Zoho as well as other CRMs and just get support from us as well. Uh, so hopefully that answers any questions you have and that's it. Thank you.